Hey guys, so make dinner with me. Today we made spaghetti al vino bianco. <laughs> I'm feeling really fancy, but on this day, I just come back from work and went straight into the kitchen. Now, before I dive in, can we talk about how expensive things are? I know, I know, I know, everyone knows already, but it's still so mind-blowing. I bought maybe all but seven, eight things, and I saw 30K, and I'm like, God, what is the value of money? Like, this little small bottle of wine, two packs of pork, two small cooking creams, like, this thing is almost 4K. You know, two sticks of butter, some baguette, you know, diaper, and garlic, thyme, and parsley. And I was seeing 30 something K. Okay, I mean, these two seasoning things. But I mean, I'm just not used to the pricing anyway. That's still in my rant, but this is the money. And it was just peppering my body because I'm like, what is here? What is here? Anyway, for this dish, I um, started by boiling my pasta. And the idea is to boil my pasta al dente. So I put in some water and I boiled, you know, the pasta. Once that was done, I cut my pork. Now, you can cut your pork into chunks, uh, little cubes like I did, or just leave it whole and just, you know, sear it whole like this. It's really totally up to you. Um, the bone I cut up, you can use for stock. Pork stock is actually really flavorful and very delicious. So I cut my pork into um, cubes because I just wanted to have, like, a little, you know, cube in every bite I have. So, I mean, that's the idea that I had. But yeah, I was craving a you know, pasta that wasn't like didn't have like tomato base or like cooking cream situation, you know, just something different. So I did white wine sauce with pork. Now I put my pasta in and the idea is to just boil it al dente, right? So I left that to boil. We don't break pasta over here, but uh, mind you. So please just let it, you know, literally melt into the water. Now I got some olive oil, put a little bit in the pan. The idea is to render the fat from my pork, all right? So I put in my pork and then I seasoned it with some garlic, some black pepper, some salt, some thyme, um, some adobo, and then seasoning cubes if you want. I used some um, bouillon cubes here. So if you're one of those people that don't like, you know, cont um, local or umami seasoning in continental dishes please i'm all for it i always advocate for it but in this case i was just craving that umami spicy you know situation so i added some um seasoning cubes now once my pork was rendered took it out added some more oil then added some garlic and onions now you want to sweat your onions to get out all the flavor you don't want the harsh um chew on your onions in this recipe then i added some tomatoes now these tomatoes you don't want to fry so much you don't want to overcook it you still need it plump so it bursts in your mouth now i added the juice of um half of a lemon without the seeds guys i can see one seed i think i took it out at some point then i added some butter so you don't want your butter to melt through you don't want it to be greasy you need that butter to give you like the creamy texture so once it's had melted a little on really low heat i added my wine i think i used about half a bottle of the small wine which i mean should come to maybe about a cup or a cup and a half it was still simmering on low heat and I added some adobo, some salt, some black pepper, um, you know, and some seasoning cubes at some point. Now this just deglazed my pan and all of that sauce was now marrying together. I covered it to simmer for a few minutes, you know, and when I went back, the sauce was absolutely divine. Now I just went ahead to adjust the seasoning. Okay, this is the point where I added the seasoning cubes and then I put in my pork to just, you know, sit with the sauce as well and infuse. Now my sauce was tasting divine. It was looking amazing and all that was left was to just add my pasta into the pot. So I put in my spaghetti. You can use any kind of pasta you want, you know, penny, some tagliatelle, knock yourself out quite frankly, elbows, it doesn't matter. I used some spaghetti because I wanted to, you know, slurp. And then I added some pasta water for extra juice, you know, and then I just stirred it all together on really low heat so it marries and it simmers, right? Everything just blends together. Now, once everything came together, all that was left was to top with some herbs. So I topped with some parsley and some basil, you know, and that was it. My pasta was ready. Can you just look at the creation? At this amazing delicious thing like just see how it is it's juicy it's you know flavorful 
he just has everything that you need you know it was perfect i'll just look at this cream just look at it and it's not cooking cream because you know i'm getting tired of like the regular cooking cream situation or quite frankly i just didn't crave it on this day now to add some extra pizzazz i went ahead to make some garlic bread i used some butter added some garlic added some fresh basil you can add parsley whatever herbs you have quite frankly and i just you know stirred it all together and once it was properly incorporated i you know put it on my bread and i just toasted my bread and i also buttered the other side as well so that everything is properly toasted you get yeah and i put it in my pan for like some nice browning and at this point it was it was ready to con be consumed quite frankly it was so delicious but yes this is me just buttering the other side so that everywhere has all the you know everything everything is just together see how good it looked i put it on my pasta and it was just divine we had like three helpings of this food i promise you and it was so so delicious For more recipes, don't forget to like, subscribe and follow. Bye.